One, talked to Mason about getting a petition for Cruz to get protective custody. Two, talked to Mason about his meeting with Dr. Nicholas. Three, talked to Mason about when it is that I can talk to Mason. Is Mason in? Uh, no, he isn't, Dr. Nicholas. Can I help you? Well, I suppose he told you about our conversation earlier. No, he didn't. Should he have? He asked a lot of questions about Elena. I, I didn't have any answers, that's all. That surprises me. Why? Well, you're a scientist. You're a trained observer. Surely you would have noticed something aberrant in her behavior, some sort of indication. I knew that she was deeply troubled. She was always moody and, and unpredictable. And lately, her, her mood swings have been very extreme. But Would the term obsessive apply? In some ways, yes. So you would say that her feelings toward Cruz were obsessive? It was her obsession that killed her. That's one theory. Yeah. Let's just hope that the truth didn't die with her. Will you excuse me? Dr. Nicholas, I really do know how difficult it is for you to reconcile... Oh, I'm sorry. What a monster. A yeah. monster? Well, I have a daughter myself. Oh, wait a minute. The only thing I should never have done, I shouldn't have agreed to allow her to continue her false identity. I didn't know about her statistic fantasies. I didn't know about her, her desperate machinations. I loved her. She was my daughter. I mean, I, I tried to save her. You understand? Now she's, look, she's gone and someone else is being punished. Sounds as if you think Cruz is innocent. What? Uh, yes, I mean, that's exactly why I'm here. I want to do anything I can to help this case. Fine, well, will you take the stand? Of course I will. That might help. However, we're really looking for an eyewitness who can prove that Cruz didn't do it. Yeah. I understand that Cruz heard someone else. That's right. And we intend to find that person. Oh, yes, of course. Listen, will you tell Mason that I couldn't wait? I've, uh... I'll be in touch.